Hello and welcome to Countryside Knitting. It's a long time since we made episodes, uh, but now we are back. We are two together in this podcast, but we, in the usual um, way we, we do it, we have to split when we do the English versions. We started as a Norwegian um, podcast only, and now we do both. We are not neighbors, <laughs> so uh, Janne, who's the other one, has to be, um, she has to drive for one and a half hour. And she has made her things um, on her island and I do mine here. We come to you from Norway and we are two um, uh, women in our <laughs> best um, years. We have knitted uh, from the childhood and we never get bored of it. Janne also do a lot of crochet, uh, all different old techniques. She dyes yarn and she sews a lot. I do mostly knitting. So today, first uh, you will be here with me for some minutes, then I will um, give you Janne and she will show you a lot of amazing things and then you will get back to me. In this podcast we do a lot of traditional knitting um, and I do a lot of shawl knitting and also cardigans and I think this episode is not an exception from that. Janne, she loves to design her own things so when she is on the air she will mostly talk about her own things. Her patterns are mostly in Norwegian but um, yeah it's very interesting to watch anyway I think. Um, today uh, it's autumn, uh, it's October and I have a lot of nice autumn colors surrounded um, my place here we live at the coast and there is a um, fjord we have big mountains and forest behind me so I have um, included some nature photos and recordings so that you can see a little bit what it's like here uh, I just wanted to tell you why we haven't made episodes in a couple of months um, it was summer of course uh, we uh, we're traveling uh, and then I actually got a new job. I have been working in upper secondary school for almost 30 years. And then an old dream of me, <laughs> uh, of mine, became th uh, true and that was to be a, li a li librarian. <laughs> so I don't have exactly the education you need but I will do a little bit more. And so now I work in a library in my own community, municipality and that means I don't have to go that far to get to work. Uh, it also means that I don't get to meet so many young people but I am one day a week at a secondary school where I work at a school library and I can be in the classroom with my, not my exactly, but, but with the students. They are a little bit younger but I really like, uh, what's good about that age is that they may not have stopped reading because many people stop reading when they are in their early teens and I really love to be in the library but it um, made me uh, made so I had to make some other priorities I had to to learn the systems and I read a lot now but now I'm going to show you what I have been knitting um, I love to knit shawls and in the summertime I think shawls is a very, it's easy to carry around, especially in the beginning. Uh, something that's very nice with shawls is that they mostly fit, um, the, um, if you compare it to cardigans, um, it's easier to, be, uh, to, to have a nice result. And the first thing I finished was something that also leads me to a, a knit along that we are, have finished now that I will talk about <clears throat> and that is the shawl is the summer mystery shawl by Sofia Capella in the Kama Bornea podcast. This is a shawl pattern that she made some years ago but she never wrote it uh, or finished it for publication until now so we had seen photos but we hadn't uh, been able to buy the pattern but now 
she has it out and I have made it. It's moss stitch in different versions. It's a triangular shawl, it's rather big, but I like shawls like this. And even if it's wool, because this is wool, it is not heavy. I don't find it heavy. And I don't find it very itchy either. Um, this is um, Fienul from Rauma, that's a two-ply Norwegian wool. And I used some, I want a grey because it's a very neutral uh, colour and I can combine it with a lot of clothes because I usually have clothes with pattern and different colours and that makes it a little bit difficult to combine with shawls with a lot of colours uh, and patterns. So this is very calm in a way, just I had to add some colours at the, the picot ending and a little bit of light green, maybe you see it. To knit a picot ending is something I don't do very often, but I, after have been struggling a little bit and even asked Sophia herself, I understand the, and that was me uh, not reading the pattern <laughs> good, well enough. But this is a very nice shawl, I really love it and I have started another one that you will see. Um, so um, this is a um, Camabornia design and I even have one more because I was so inspired by the colors of the autumn and even this uh, cardigan is the same colors. And this is Shimning shawl that I have made a tons of because I, I just love the pattern. And I have talked about it before, have you been here with me before, you've heard it, but I like the combination of garter stitch and stockinette. I always put different colors in the stockinette stitches uh, or rows, so it's a kind of uh, the colors are there and a little bit hidden because the garter is always the dominating color. This uh, is a very old PT2 from Rauma that is not being uh, made anymore. Uh, the the orange uh, and then this all these are leftovers um, some hand dyed some hand dyed by me some hand dyed by others <laughs> and I really like uh, to make shawls like this it's a lot of fun and you don't need very much for the first stripes of course you need a little bit more as you go. <clears throat> This is also a triangular shaped shawl and I really also like the lace part and I did choose a peach color. I wanted it to be a contrast so it's visible. So these two are my newest Camabornia shawls and there may be more <laughs> because I really love them. I think now I will tell you who has won prizes in the Camabornia knit along and then I will save my other things uh, to after Janna has been here with you but I want to tell you we had a, a knit along from I don't remember exactly when we started but I know we ended the 13th of September and there was um, a lot of nice things to, to see in the Ravelry thread and there was a lot of discussions in the chatter thread so uh, thank to all of you who joined in there. And we have had it as a knit along in Norwegian, no sorry, in English. But of course there was also, the, there were also uh, English, Norwegian people, oh, sorry, uh, joining. So there are some Norwegians and some international knitters here. Um, I have some yarn and, ooh, I forgot to bring it just a moment. Sorry for that. This is a yarn hand dyed by Janne that goes to one of the um, winners and it is a one ply yarn from Jarbo that is a Swedish company uh, and the one who has won this one is Audirena. She's a Norwegian knitter in Sheen, my home country and she is actually a friend of mine from old days. And it's very nice that when she watched this um, uh, podcast, we have uh, had a lot of more contact <laughs> recently. So this goes to Audirena. Congratulations on that. 
Then I have two prizes and that is uh, patterns from uh, Sofia that you can choose. Just write to me what you want and I will uh, do the rest for you. And there is one international winner and that is, uh, the, her rivalry name is Craft Tea, like tea, like you can drink, <laughs> Craft Tea Life. Um, from Ontario, Canada, and that is Candace, that I think I know because you have written a lot of comments, and it's very nice to have you in here, Candace. And you had knitted soft snow mini mittens, uh, like a Christmas ornament. And the fun thing was that Adriana, the winner of the yarn, has had also made those, but in, um, in the original version, like real mittens. Um, and then we have another winner, and that is Stricke Venke. That's her name on Ravelry. Um, if she doesn't watch my English episode, I'll have to contact her. But she can also has, have a, um, a pattern. And congratulations and thanks to all of you who joined and to those who didn't win a prize. You actually have a, a product. So that is something. Um, I have said that I wanted to have another knit along and it's time to talk about it because it goes from from the 13th of September, if you remember that, and then it lasts until all the way uh, in 2022. And that is the festive, I thought the name was festive yoke, uh, but the festive sweater, cow? It's the festive um, sweater or festive yoke from uh, uh, Eli, who is going there in it. I will give you the information under this video and I really like that pattern. Here is uh, what it looks like from the from uh, in the front. <laughs> it doesn't have to look like this exactly because what she has done in this pattern and that is something I really like is that she has included a lot of different diagrams and they're all the same size uh, so you can mix and match what you want from those I think it's 16 different uh, like stars, gifts, trees, flowers, um, reindeers and I don't remember all of the different uh, things you could choose from but you can just do what you want how many you want you can have uh, this uh, charts all over the garments you can knit a sweater or a cardigan what I did uh, when I saw her episode just before Christmas last uh, last year um, I watched some of her test knitters what they have done and then I kind of copied one Stricka Bra a Norwegian test knitter she has made a sweat uh, cardigan in these colors gray and burgundy and I copied her and I almost copied what she had picked from the different charts and this is a very nice uh, cardigan I haven't used it a lot because I made it uh, in between Christmas and New Year's Eve and it's a little bit Christmassy that's the point with it of course so um, what I added here that I don't think the others have is that I had um, contrast color. I didn't think of it in the beginning, but I uh, thought of it when I, um, as I um, got along. So I have knitted a little bit with it in every start and end, if that's the right way to say it. And I uh, just uh, used crochet on the top because this is knitted top down. I have not uh, made any um, uh, I have just followed the pattern. Uh, it's rather wide, uh, cozy. Um, now that I start to look forward to Christmas, I would like to wear it again if people don't think it's too much of a Christmas sweater. I think her idea for this pattern was, you know, the Christmas sweaters. Like, almost the ugly ones also, but this is a, a little bit uh, less... Uh, it, or it depends on how you make it. Uh, it can be very uh, vivid or it can be kind of calm and I think this is a perfect way for me. And I would like you to join me in knitting a festive cardigan um, or a sweater. 
And I know that uh, Scandier also has this kind of knit along on her channel. So if you knit uh, with her, you can also knit with me and the other way around and you can have put your um, finished object into both uh, Ravelry groups. And the prices will be patterns that she has made. So at the end, in uh, the 1st of uh, January or something like that, I will draw some winners. So please join me in this. We will do this knit along in English and a little bit of Norwegian maybe also if in that Ravelry thread. I think I'll do both this time. So, um, and if you have started already, just join. It doesn't matter to me. I just, uh, uh, if you're finished, it's a little bit <laughs> stupid, but just uh, if you have started or you want to start, please join. And I have made a Ravelry thread that you can join already. And that's for the chatter. I will also make a thread for finished objects uh, quite soon. I will need another one. I don't know exactly what colors. I don't want to do the same again, of course. I want to make something that is a, real, a little bit different with colors and do some other choices about the diagrams. But now I think you can go to Janne's Island, Aukra. And then uh, she will show a lot of things. We, I know what she has made because we did uh, the Norwegian episodes, but now you can uh, take a look at all the different things that she makes. She is uh, she is so creative and skilled. So here we go, Janne. Hello and uh, welcome to my uh, second floor. I was uh, to Merete yesterday to um, take the Norwegian episode and today it's uh, started with the English one. I have been uh, knitting a lot of things because we haven't uh, met, met uh, Merete and me in uh, I think two months. So uh, it's a lot of knitting. So I started with my jacket. It's finished. Uh, it's in Finul fra Rauma, and this is Fana. We call it Treje in Norway because when it's a jacket, uh, it's an other name for jacket. So we can see jacke, but it's in uh, the Fana uh, if with Bergen. It's called Treje, but um, you can say jacket. And I've been knitting some shawl. My daughter uh, wants a shawl to her bunad because uh, it's uh, cold sometimes. In the uh, 17th of May, uh, uh, the day we have uh, uh, the national day, <coughs> it could <couldn't> be <coughs> sorry, it could be cold. So I took uh, black finul and I made this. Uh, you see it's a pattern on the top and in the middle bit. And it's a this on the side. I hold it top down now. And you see it's uh, it's big because she wants to have it like this because she wants to have it like this not in the just like the other way we are using shawl not this way not this way because we she will want it over the do not so she wants to have it down on the back and like this when it's cold. So, oh, it's uh, fluffy. Mm. It's fluffy. Mm. I have some scarf with fluff. And uh, some of the other girls don't want to have it so big um, uh, shawl. Uh, so I made one, it's nearly the same. Uh, and it looked like this. 
though, is the other shawl. It's uh, almost the same. It ha did I have a... No, I, it was not uh, wrong. I think it was wrong, but it wasn't. And I have knitting a uvob, an other shawl. This is uh, dyed with the plants. And this is a shawl when I can have like this. This is also my my pattern. It's uh, the pattern. It's only in Norwegian. It's not in uh, in uh, English. I am. I can. I I speak English, but I don't write English. Not good there. Not good uh, at uh, writing. So then I have uh, socks. I have been knitting socks. A lot of socks. I will find them now. Uh, this is a thin sock yarn and kid silk from Drops. This is the sock. It's um, uh, brioche in the top and it's an ordinary sock below. I want to have a sock I was used in the night. So I made one pair, I made two pair, I made three, four, and I have made, I am knitting on the 17 pair. So it's lots of socks. So this will be gift. A call to my grandchild. This is a pattern, uh, the orch, yes, from uh, Lena Holmes Samsø. This is Linit. Uh, I think she has some pattern in English. Uh, and this is, uh, you know, which it's called Peacock Tea. I think it's the same name in English. I don't know if the pattern is on Ravelry in English, but I use the pattern, the start of the pattern. I use, I knit a, a double on the top and I use the 20 first uh, rounds of the pattern and then I use a I cord around so you can you can use you can use a, I see the back I set a place in the back and you can use it as a coal I can take it a bit you see I haven't been use I haven't been mm. so you see you can use it as a coal uh, I have been made uh, some uh, I I don't know what it called is this is a uh, not a mitten but it's half mittens it is called that this is um, a pattern uh, in I gave to a uh, Norwegian uh, knitting society uh, for um, some years ago. So this is only in Norwegian. Uh, all my pattern is in Norwegian. But Merete have uh, translated some of them. This is also a pattern. I have used before and they are knit in uh, Milino Extra Fine from Drops. The, they, this, I have to think, uh, it's from Rauma Baby Wool and it's Kid Silk from Drops. Uh, this is in Tin Lina. 
That's a yarn from uh, Sannes. Sannes yarn. Uh, and Kidsik. It's almost the same, but the the bottom is different because you have this hair in the bottom. And I've been knitting a sweater to my dress. It's knit in one thread with a kid silk. It's thin, very thin. Uh, so I can I can hold my I will be warm in the Christmas Eve because the, the dress is uh, very open. So I have one and a short sleeve, sleeve and uh, not so very long because I will have to the dress. And I have been I have been a uh, crochet uh, corner to corner and corner to corner filet. This is a free pattern on Ravelry, but it's in Norwegian. If you want to uh, crochet this, you can. It, it's a couple of, uh, of uh, pattern uh, in this type of crochet uh, on Ravelry. And you have to, I think is what C2C lace. What's that? I think it's what, uh, but I have it on my uh, my uh, YouTube channel, and that's called C to C filet. I call it because lace in Norwegian is knitting, and filet is crochet. That's why I call it crochet. Eller, I call it a filet because it's crochet. Yes, that's the bag. It's empty, but I forgot to take my dolls with me. So the dolls' clothes, I think, in I think uh, extra afterward. I have been show you my things because I'm knitting on something. Yeah. I've been knitting on this. This is a jacket from uh, a Kofte Dilla on Ravelry. She has some pattern in English, but I don't think this is in English. This is a, a jacket to myself. I think it was a bit of big, but when I uh, take it on top of this, it's it's great. So I. Uh, I will uh, knit further and see if it's that. That's in uh, Finul from Rauma in uh, a couple of color. I have, I have, I will see. Oh, it's, I have some other things here. This is the color in Finul. So I, I like that color in my knitting bag, big knitting bag. This is an embroidery. I have been sewed the bag by myself. This is a big, big bag. Uh, <clears throat> then I'm a uh, crochet on uh, Granny Ripple. You find lots of uh, pattern on Granny Ripple on the internet. I will buy, just take all the threads away. This, and this is double on this side. And I, I, I have been crochet a bit, but I don't crochet blanket in the summer. So uh, it's not so very, very much uh, I have been uh, crochet on that, but a bit. Uh, I have been started now in August or September and I am knitting something. And I have knit something on this, this blanket. Uh, 
this is socky two threads it's one thread of oh thing have oh i'll take it up later i will find the yarn uh, this is one of them this is silk lace super kid from adlibris with uh, small balls of leftover i have it in here in the back this is small leftover i have knitted in with that together hold together and the other yarn it's brown and that's brown uh, lamul lame i think uh, baby sheep uh, wool a uh, lamul from rama and kid silk from drops kid silk from drops they hold together and you see you see the brown and you see the color so i am very pleased with that it's warm so uh, it's great to sit under in the in the winter and uh, and uh, cro uh, knit on it and i am crochet once more in uh, corner to corner filet this is a baby blanket this is the same star as i have on my jacket you see that it's the same star that i have there so uh, i find that i will make a baby blanket it's um, i'm going to decrease now i have increase and it's 80 centimeters and now i will increase my decrease so it's uh, all over the half. Welcome back to uh, my second floor. And uh, now I have found the doll and the doll clothes I've been making. Uh, I have, I, I, I think the doll clothes is uh, not easy, easy enough. I, I think it's so i don't like the the finish pattern because you have to do that and that and that i want to knit and i use uh hand dyed yarn almost uh some uh fabric uh dyed too but i i like i like to knit easy in the doll clothes you, you don't have to take things so high uh, so i made uh, uh some pattern this is an uh, I, th I I think it's called jump suite in English. Uh, there are opening at the back and you have uh, started on the top and knitting the up and I use hand dyed yarn. So we see that's to the to the dolls and ones of this. This is a smaller one. I used uh, thinner uh, knitting needles on that in and other thicker on that so we have to get the, to to fit the dolls so i have some dolls here and i will show you uh, i have to take this doll away so i can use show you this is from doll 43 centimeters and the smallest one is 38 centimeters so you can use the same uh, clothes on these two i have been made jacket no that's a sweater sorry that's sweater uh, sweater this is the same pattern this is the top in fabric yarn this is in sock yarn this is in cotton and this is in cotton i just knit uh, i have just knit an other hair and i take a sleeve a bit of sleeve i have been made jacket 
jacket. This is a baby merino and kid silk. This is a thin line and kid silk, the same as the mittens I showed on the last. This is baby wool from Rauma and kid silk. This is socky fine, hand dyed socky fine and kid silk same and this is a Norwegian yarn this this is Nolis from Viking yarn and this is a, I I don't always remember that but it's it's a it's not it's silk mohair from Sandnes and I use some Nolis in the outside so we can fit but I don't have two buttons so I took two different buttons that's first the top and I have dresses I've been knitting 14 dresses I will show you uh, this is I believe it's or opal or an other yarn sock yarn and kid silk and i don't have enough so i have this is baby merino and kid silk and this is baby merino from drops with kid silk so i i knit this and i go back to the top on this this is from the small doc uh, uh, doll this doll in 38. So I've been knitting on smaller needles. This is an dress. And this is sock yarn with bling. You see it there with bling. And some uh, leftover in Haida Haida dyed baby merino from drops, I think. This is the same as the other. Uh, yarn with kid silk this is baby merino from drops hand dyed i have hand dyed and this is a, a petty femme from Rauma. i have been dyed and uh, this is a baby merino from drops i have been hand dyed uh, this is an other thing this is baby wool wool from i think it's from dale it's a small business in Norway in under House of Yarn. Uh, and I have been uh, knitted this. I I just made this in the bottom. And you have a button back. And this was another yarn. I I don't remember what yarn is it is. I think it was some Angora. And I I I believe it was from um Ice Yarn, I think, from Turkey. So that's the dress. And I have yet trousers too. <clears throat> Let's have a dress then. This is trousers. This is an uh, this is from a uh, sock blanket. And the same, but it's so shorter. This is a trousers. And I have been knitted socks. This is from, this is to that um, uh, baby, baby born. And I have um, 
it's soft block it from baby on to to baby born so you can have soft block it you see and show them that's what i have been uh, made uh, from the dolls i will make uh, something more scarf i am making on no but i'm doing on that i'm not finished i will show you uh, here is a jacket with uh, kid silk so it's going in under on other thing oh it's on the bottom i will take something else first because it's this is a soft blanket it's leftover and i think yes i will need a, a trousers more so this is a new trousers it's double yarn in my sock yarn and i knit the the feet together so that will be a new trousers uh, this, this will be a new top summer top this is also high hand dried yarn left over from something Oi. oh it's fell down i will take it off this yarn and then we come to the scarf this is the scarf it's very easy but i will made pattern in which it's almost it's um, a knit and, uh, and uh, pearl and uh, i made this it's simple but i will made pattern in region because some are not very good to knit so they have to help get some help and then i have once more i've started on uh, it's lots of threads here i have there this is also a top summer top i, I have more of the yarn i will was knitted a dress from so i knit the top or i will make one of these if i have enough yarn i will see i will uh, take this and uh, check out yes and then i have the jackets yarn oh it's come fred this is the yarn i am knitting in that so that was all from the dolls today Thanks for me. Bye. Thank you, Yama. And now it's my turn to show a little bit what I have finished and what I am about to make. I have knitted more shawls because I think that is so relaxing. And now that I started a new job and even a new occupation, I had to learn a lot and my brain was tired. And then I wanted to do something really easy. So I have some more shawls. Um, there is a um, Norwegian designer um, with the name Jan Wenke Roal. Uh, I met her this summer and I asked that uh, if she wanted me to test knit a little bit for her I could do that. And the first thing I have test knitted is Louisa's shawl. This is a shawl that is with uh, it's very wide and, but it has the, the point uh, from the, almost like a triangle shawl, but uh, this is wider. That was not a very good way of telling, but this is what it looks like. It has some small stars in a way, uh, and then it's mostly knit. It is not a lot of purling, just a little bit purling. Um, I think it's very 
it's simple, it is not difficult, uh, you just have to make sure that you have the same distance. I just read the, uh, the pattern and then I put it away um, pretty soon and just uh, I could just count to and, and see where, where I was. This is a sock yarn that Janne has dyed that I bought from her. It's a little bit dark and I know that the pattern is not that much visible in dark yarn. Uh, so if you compare it to this, because uh, of course I uh, do more than one if I like a pattern. This is a much lighter color and you can see the pattern much easier. This is uh, the romantic version <coughs> of Louisa's shawl by Wenke Roal. This is made in uh, thin yarn also, it's uh, merino... Um, Norwegian, not Norwegian, uh, but it's uh, from Nösterbarn. It's very light. Uh, I have the weight written down in, uh, in where I have it on the Ravelry. I don't remember just exactly. And I think this is uh, less than one skein. Uh, this is a little bit heavier because it's a superwash yarn, so I needed a little bit more. I really love those. But I did some all, uh, other test knit for uh, Venke Roal, and that was a cardigan. I started it, I knitted uh, very quickly and then I started the job in August and it stopped. But now I have finished and this is a cardigan called Flora with flowers. You can see them maybe even easier on the back. I have used Ask from Hillesvåg. Um, and then uh, the light, the pinky, purple one is something I have hand dyed and that is also Osk, I think. Oof, it's a long time since I made that, that now. Um, it is made uh, top down and I have done as I uh, really like to do. I have the contrast color um, on the top. Uh, it, all of the uh, cuffs and with uh, that color and even the button bands and I think my buttons are also very floral and nice. Um, it's a little bit cropped. I usually like my cardigans to be rather long so I noticed when I ha I've just worn it a couple of days because it's it's uh, off the needles just recently and I know that I kind of <laughs> goes like this but I think that's a habit I have to stop that and this is very nice with uh, dresses and I do mostly wear dresses and skirts so um, it's a good way to kind of do something else not make the same um, fit every time uh, so this is a Norwegian um, wool and I really like it and I like the way that these flowers are more softer <laughs> than what I usually do uh, like this is more geometrical this is has another uh, expression so now I have another cardigan when I make cardigans like this in Norwegian or in wool I always stick and cut so I did the that on this also and I have to admit that I have not. Um, here you can see if you are afraid of cutting 100% uh, wool especially it's nothing to be afraid of. I uh, made a crochet line two, two very close and then knitted uh, what was in between knitted I mean I cut and then this is what it looks like nothing is broken uh, I could uh, sew it, I could make a, have a band, I may have, what's the name, uh, what you have, uh, a ribbon also, almost, uh, I may do that, but this is finished just uh, some couple of, maybe one week ago. I have a lot of cardigans and I think about maybe making um episode where I show my cardigans, maybe my traditional one in one episode and the others in another episode, I don't know. We will see. Tell me if you want to, to watch that. That was almost all my finished objects. Uh, today I have forgotten another thing, just wait. <laughs> I 
my living room is filled with knitted garments. Uh, when we made the Norwegian episode, I showed a shawl that was almost finished, and now it is finished. This is Brenneri shawl. It's a shawl, very very easy pattern from Ivona in Coffee Brenneri in Kristiansund, where I make only Norwegian episodes. I'm sorry. It's very, it's super easy. Um, it's very long and not so deep and I have made a crochet border that is not exactly in the pattern but it's very easy pico. And this is a hand dyed sock yarn from Unique in Trondheim. And when I wash my shawls I wash them in, in mild shampoo. So this smells of apples. <laughs> So this is a very nice one. It is not so big. It's maybe more of a scarf than a shawl. I really like this pattern and I have made rather, I think maybe four or five of these. And it's so easy. I can knit when I go with a bus and when I have lunch with my the other people working in the same um, building. Because when I have lunch, I can, uh, we, in the library we are not so many. We are two people and one of them have to be there in lunch because uh, it's uh, it's open. We cannot leave all of us. Some other things that I have made or are about to make is something that is maybe not very pretty, but I like it. I have a left a lot of leftovers, and many of those are so small I could just throw them away. Maybe that would be the best thing to do. But I I think it's a kind of a. Uh, I forgot the word. It's a kind of a challenge for me to do something creative with it. So I knit or uh, crochet small uh, squares and I put them together. And this is not supposed to be trendy. It's not supposed to be um, kind of uh, simple and <laughs> classic. It's supposed to be a chaos. And so this is what it looks like uh, now. I have uh, one color and two colors uh, as every opposite. That's the only system and I try not to have too much of the same colors uh, at the same place. So I just take some scraps, some leftovers and make something. Um, and then I don't sew in all the ends because I use them for uh, uh, when I have a, a new uh, square. Sew it together with this. And sometimes I make small like this with this this blue is from uh, this this side <laughs> I just make some it's not maybe uh, embroidery <laughs> even it's so simple this is um, all kind of techniques as long as the squares are around the same size I don't always manage to have it exactly the same some of these are knitted from uh, it's Janne, uh, old things she gave to me, and I just put it in here. And these blankets are very nice, I put them on the beds, and I think I have included some photos. I may do if I remember when I uh, make the episode, when I edit. Another thing that I do is a baby blanket in pink, very pink. It is a Norwegian yarn called Björk. I have shown it to you already. It is merino and cotton. 50% of each. Uh, I don't knit it to something, uh, somebody I know. I just <laughs> had the yarn. This is based on a design that Janne has. Uh, just a small square and I just uh, made it bigger. And I knit uh, every now and then. Now it's started to be a little it's starting to be a little bit big. So I have had it on the bus some days, but it's a little bit big now. It's not a hurry to finish. <clears throat> Another thing that I make is a cardigan also inspired by the autumn and the autumn colors. It is called Ostrikofte, that's also Venkeroal. <laughs> this is one of the first sleeve. I have a contrast color that is a bit difficult to see. It's a little bit darker orange. I have two or three uh, rounds. 
This is Simre from Telespin, so I will hair a little bit of a lab wool yarn. And this is uh, how far I have come. It looks a little bit strange when I knit it, but when I finish it will be very smooth and nice. I have four, maybe five cardigans in this and I use them a lot. Because of the mohair it's very, uh, keeps me warm in the winter. And this is something I started when I uh, went to my parents home in the summer and I was going to be on the train for a lot of time. So, and I could show you a photo, I almost forgot. This is a very nice book, Inspiring Norwegian Patterns, and they are based on old patterns <coughs> from 1929. And this uh, is a kind of a duplicate, or what to say, and, uh, it's old patterns, it's not really... It's only the diagrams and very little information, and then you have to figure out the rest yourself, like they did in the old days. <coughs> she has used those old um, diagrams and made new, more modern versions. I'm going to make the one with fleece, but in other colors, of course. Um, <clears throat> Something else that I want to show you is a yarn that I have bought that is a little bit similar to this Simre from Telespin. Telespin is a very small mill in Telmark where I come from. They have the goats, they make everything, all of the process is made there. And now there is a, a mill in Siro in the south, south of Stavanger where they have alpaca and sheep and they make their own yarn in a way uh, the same as Telespin do. We don't have many mills in Norway. And this is Nordspin alpaca in a very nice brown, pink something <laughs> colorway. I am going to make a shawl, I think. And this uh, is 100 gram with 300 meters. It's a two ply. They don't have a web shop, so I had to work a little bit to get hold on that, <laughs> but I got some help. I have also something that I forgot to show in a Norwegian episode. Sometimes you get more than the Norwegian, or you get it uh, before, because I totally forgot to show uh, what I bought from Janne when we had a, a weekend with knitting on Hans Garn. Uh, she do a lot of she does a lot of redesign and look at this. She buy a lot of old embroideries in um, thrift stores and so she made a little purse to keep knitting stash or other things in and she uses uh, wool so when because this is a very steady sturdy <laughs> thick uh, material she uses the same kind of material uh, so it's uh, it's even so I really like this. It is so nostalgic and nice. And look at this. And with a zipper. <coughs> and she also has pockets inside. And this is a redesign. All of this uh, is something that could have been just throw away. Um, I'm not good at sewing. I'm very happy that Janne does a lot of nice things so I can buy from her. An old embroidery to put my knitting in. And this, I'm uh, almost a little bit afraid of using them because I think they are so pretty. Some other thing that I have <coughs> that is really nice colors for this time of year is some uh, finul. I bought a lot of finul in a color I didn't like. It's a yellow color that I don't think um, goes uh, very good to me. Um, I made it into skeins. I put them in the dye pot and then I had these. I may have shown it to you. But now I have started to use those because I used some of those in this shawl. I also got some more orange peach. 50 grams in each, and then I have a, a really different one. 
this is what I have used in another project, so it's not all that much left. I do uh, dyeing sometimes, um, not very often, and now I have so much yarn, I have to knit a little bit with it. I think I really, these are my, some of my favorites right now. I may, and they are not very far away from this, but they are a different basis. So we'll see. I look at them and one day I'll knit with them. And then I said I would show you uh, another shawl, the mystery shawl by Sofia Capelle. Uh, just looking for the right side. I started to knit another one when I was at the um, knit uh, night in a way in Kaffebrenneriet and this is how far I got. This is a yarn that is a uh, I didn't bring the label. I'll show you later, and you can look it up on Ravelry. But it's from um, Sevek. It's a Danish uh, mill, and it's a combination of wool and silk and nylon. And I think wool is 50%. It's very nice. So this is something I'm going to keep uh, on working on uh, in my lunches and when I go with the bus. I think that was all. Uh, we will try to make episodes a little bit more often from now on. Just I had to kind of uh, cope with my new job. Um, so uh, now it's uh, turning into the advent and Christmas time or Christmas present time so I think we will have some content with that uh, from now on and of course the knit along so please join we also have a Facebook group that is in Norwegian I try to do both but I think uh, it's a little bit difficult we have an Instagram account that I don't use a lot countryside knitting if you wanted me to use it more you could tell me uh, but we have Ravelry and maybe that's the best place. Um, and I have my own Instagram and then also we have the information below here in the information box. So you can find us there. We also have a coffee account if you want to give us a symbolic coffee. And we have patrons and you will find all those links uh, underneath here. I think that was all for me today. I hope you are safe and well. And if you are not, I hope you can comfort yourself with some crafty activities because that's always a good thing to do. And until we meet again, just bye bye.